Ray had overcome a lot of obstacles to be able to keep his brother with him at school. What op- obstacles did you have to overcome to finally get the film made? Well, you know, the obstacles that we had to overcome to get this film made uh, were many in, in that, you know, this, the, uh, I initially set up the film and got was lucky enough to get Ray's rights 14 years ago when the story happened back in 2006. Uh, I was at another studio at the time. We developed a screenplay and then just never got a green light on that movie. And uh, I, I knew I knew we had a great film in there and that and I told Ray he had to just be patient. And uh, I didn't think it would take 14 years, but uh you know, we kept in touch over the years and, and I just said, Ray, I'm gonna get this movie made. So when Disney Plus announced uh, that, that their venture was happening and I'd made a lot of movies at Disney and I felt like this one would be perfect for the platform. And we brought it over and was one of the first things that they bought. And again, everything's about timing. You know, I think back in 2006, I brought it by and I tried to get it at Disney at the time and it was a different regime and it just didn't happen. So. Um, you know, everything lined up now and that's what happens when, when movies end up getting made, they just, there's, there's an ease and there's, you know, you get these lucky breaks and start to put things together. You know, we continue to work on the script, you know, brought in another writer, brought in Reggie and, uh, and then the cast part of it. And, and, uh, it was just amazing. Big team effort. Reginald, um, what is it about the story that made you want to make this film? I love this story the minute I heard it. Uh, I was intrigued. Then I read the script and the script was so good. Every 20 pages, I had to get up and start pacing because I was just so emotionally engaged in it. And it was pretty clear uh, uh, 45 pages in, I was going back to work. (laughs) And then I saw, then I read the ending. I was like, oh my God. Uh, so I said, Let, let's go. So very uh, grateful that Mark uh, considered me very glad to get right to work. You know, wonderful meeting Ray, hearing his story firsthand uh, and having him with us on set as we made the movie. Great. Ray, how has it been for you finally seeing your story being made into a movie with actors playing you and Faye? Finally seeing my um, story being made into a movie has been exciting and uh, humbling for me. I'm blessed to have this experience. Uh, Not many people get to go through this. Um, And I'm more than elated. I'm more than thankful uh, for this experience. And I hope to continue to inspire others uh, with my story. And I, I can't. There's not much more to say than that because it's it's still all happening so fast to me right now. So I'm still taking it in. So it's been wonderful. Great. Mark, you've made a lot of sports themed movies. Um, how is this one similar to the other films that you've produced and how is it different? You know, I think the big difference in this story is the that it's 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 it has diversity in it, you know. And, and I think that's great because now these, these fantastic stories uh, have a better chance to, to reaching the screen. And, uh, and that, that's, that's amazing. You know, we put together, brought in an African-American writer, uh, brought in Reggie to direct, you know, the cast. The, most of the crew too was, was African-American down in Atlanta. And I think that just helped with making the movie feel authentic. You know, I think it, it's, it's the big kind of call word that you hear now. And uh, I'm really proud to be, you know, a part of it. I'm really proud of all the films I've made but 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 this one's special I've been with it a long time and to be on this road and and now have this story embraced and and we always knew that there'd be a a big audience out there and and and, uh I think the platform is going to be positioned great I mean there's so many subscribers now it's over 70 million that's really exciting when when we set up the the movie there were zero (laughs) it hadn't even been launched and in in exactly a year it's 70 million that's staggering so I think there's going to be a great audience and and a big audience for it and really proud to to bring it to 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 people's homes reginald what qualities did you see in jay and thaddeus that made you cast them in this film i was very nervous about the casting process because you know um for the role of ray you had to find an actor who was not only uh, a talented thespian but also had to have uh athletic ability as well and to get uh, a great young actor to play uh, uh, 
to play, you know, the little brother was even more of a challenge because you got a, a young actor and either you have it or you don't. And I was so grateful that Jay Reeves and that is Mixon walked in because they nailed it. Not only were they, you know, wonderful actors, Jay had fantastic uh, athletic ability, but the, the thing you can't fake is the chemistry they had with each other. And they really put the time in, they hung out all the time on the weekends, after hours. So, you know, that brotherly uh, warmth and connection that you see on screen, that was very real. And I, I feel very fortunate to work with these amazing young actors at the start of uh, two careers, I think would be very long lasting in Hollywood. Ray, how has it been being back at Clemson after all these years? Um, Clemson is home. Uh, being back at Clemson is, is wonderful because Clemson is home. Um, is always a place that I consider uh, myself comfortable and considered welcome and my family as well. So um, it's, it's been a wonderful experience and I'll continue my life in Clemson, around Clemson, uh, because once you once you go to Clemson and you'll learn as alumni that you're always going to be a part of a family no matter where you're at. And no matter what country you're in, no matter how you feel about it, you're always family. Uh, you can't get away from us. <laughs> you, once you put on the orange and purple, that, that's it. You bleed orange and purple and that's that's life. And so I'm, I'm always excited to be back at Clemson and talk about Clemson and anything dealing with Clemson. So, yes, that's, that'll be my response for that one. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Mark, why was Reginald Hudlin the perfect director for this film? Well, I mean, I, th I think if you look at his body of work, uh, you know, it's, it, it varies so much from comedy to dramatic, you know, uh, uh, films and documentaries it just uh you, that, that's what i wanted to bring to this film because there's there's humor there's there's emotion uh there's drama there's there's just big moments so you know you need somebody that are capable of kind of delivering all that and i've just been a fan of his work and uh we're really lucky to get him you know it's uh, it's always hard you know uh, you're you're in competition when when directors are are you know in demand so you, you the material has to speak and it's a lot to do with timing so uh, I think everyone was excited uh, when, when he came in and put his hand up. Reginald, what do you hope audiences will take away from this film? Well, <clears throat> what's been really gratifying as I talk to people as they see the movie is that they're inspired, they cry, they laugh, they have the full range of emotion. And I, I think movies that, you know, get beyond just being entertainment. Uh, if the movie can really inspire, then that's, that's, not, that's two hours that makes you feel like you got something out of it. You go, I wasn't just diverted. Uh, that, that, that enriched me. And that's certainly how we felt making the movie. And we hope that comes across our audiences when they see it. Ray, this last one's for you. <laughs> Your life is very different than it was when you were at Clemson. What things did you learn from that experience that have helped to make you who you are today? From my Clemson experience, I had learned so much that I, I would say that I already knew, but never practiced as much. Um, I had already been part of a team. I had I had been raised by a village up until that point. I had experienced family, but to to bring it because as you go into school as a, a young college student, you're you're really trying to find yourself, and so it was it was that combined with everything else that kind of gave me um, methods and thought processes that I would continue to use in life from this point on because. I was becoming a man at that time when I entered Clemson. And now that I became a man, just anything that led up to that was necessary as I would feel. Um, so I don't, I don't regret much because I understand everything is necessary for me to move on to the next step. And so 
what I would pick up from Clemson, one of the most things is never to regret anything. Because that's the same time that I went from, hey, maybe I'm not going to play professional football. And that was one of those things for athletes. That's one of the most trying times in our lives because that's our identity for most of us. That's who we told ourselves we were. This is what we told ourselves we was going to do. And so learning to transition as and, and learning to take life as it comes is one of the things that I picked up at my from my times at Clemson University. Um, and knowing that, that I will always have people there for me um, as well. So that's... It's a great bit, but there's so much more to Clemson and there's so much more I, I hope to continue to pick up from Clemson. That's why I'll always return.